but I'd like to expand Gregory. So we started this because of unwanted sexual and explicit approaches, but let's expand it out while we're here to, to look at that because I have my email on my LinkedIn profile and I have not had a lot, but I've had the blanket sales email. Um, which is also bad behavior because so I've had more than 20 who come to me for web design offerings. And I go, have you done your due diligence? We're a web design company. So what's your view on professional bad behavior in all its permutations? Yeah, I, I get a lot of those as well. Um, and I'm not sure it's, it's slowed down a little bit for me. It hasn't been as often. And maybe I'm being a little bit more um, discriminatory in terms of how I am or who I am, you know, connecting with. Are they, uh, you know, the type of person who's going to immediately pitch me right out of the gate? And so, for example, if I see someone who says Forex trader and Bitcoin master and all this type of stuff, I generally just move on. I don't accept that particular um, invitation because nine times out of 10, their very first, uh, they, they might try to build some fake rapport, but generally they go right into a pitch of, Hey, you know, do you need any help with Forex trading or what are you doing with your investments? Uh, but I get those, those types of pitches all the time. Uh, generally I just ignore them, but in, if I have the time and, uh, decide to go into it a little bit, I will respond and I'll ask them, how is this working for you? Mm -hmm. Have you looked at my, you know, or, or I'll ask them, what did you like the most about, you know, my background that piqued your interest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and most of them don't even answer. They're like, oh, I'm busted, moving on. Yeah. Because uh, they know what's going to come next. They've probably already been, you know, slapped on the hand in the past. So It's interesting, yeah. actually, because, so I finished this book quite recently. Hmm. And the temptation to feedback to these people and say, what are you doing is, is very high. Oh yeah. You can tell within, uh, what, 30 seconds. Oh, to tell, well, there's, there's two things that, you know, bring it to my attention. There's, there's probably three different versions I get of these unwanted solicit business solicitations. One is they jump right into um, a pitch of this is what I've got or follow my page. Uh, this is what we're doing. Aren't you interested kind of thing without doing any type of research. Um, and those are obviously mm. the worst ones. It's just a numbers game and they're, they're you know, trying to hit as many people as they can hoping somebody's going to say yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, almost like dating, you know, I think some men approach that as well. They, they don't have any approach. They just go after everybody, assuming someone at some point is going to say yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, then you get those folks who have a little bit more intelligent. They have a pitch. Um, maybe they've done at least enough research that I might be in the profile of what of who I might be a potential, you know, customer. And sometimes that's true. And they have a pitch that's at least reasonable and, and palatable. But still, they've, there's no rapport. Mm. It's kind of like saying, hi, Jonathan, I'm Gregory. Don't you, you know, blah, 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 blah. Don't you want this? This is what I'm working on. Um, aren't you interested kind of thing? Yeah. Um, even if it's not in a networking, you know, business type of context. Um, and then I get those folks who just say, hi, how are you? How's it going? Um, and, the, you know, those always lead to the same thing. It's, it's mm. just, it's awkward. It's um, funny actually because um, there's a we're part of this top person ambassador, and there's one guy who's apparently the justice secretary in India, and yeah. he sent, he sends me a hi, welcome, sir, have a great day, just randomly, hmm. which is weird. Now, oh God, spamming. Um, I really hate getting spam calls as a professional. Um, experienced telemarketer, any campaigns that I undertake, they need to be um, telephone and corporate preference screen to make sure that none of the organizations that we're calling are on this register and they need to be screened every 28 days. Um, and they also need to be GDPR compliant. So even if perhaps we may not have got their 
um, consent to email. If an email is available on the internet, then we'll email, but there'll always be an unsubscribe or opt out button somewhere. Mm -hmm. And if there's not, then um, we'll always have sort of a disclaimer underneath. So I hate people that spam me, um, you know, emails, um, calls, whatever it might be. And I will always unsubscribe to them, but I will do it politely. Um, I want to treat that person as I would hope to be treated by other people with um, mutual respect. That's all, you know, and just being nice about it and not having to be really um, presumptuous in the fact that because if somebody is receiving a scam call that they have to be unpleasant and aggressive over the phone or email. Just mm. unsubscribe, please, and, you know, move on. They, they don't need to make a big deal about it. And I do understand that a lot of companies, they receive calls for web design or web development, digital marketing, whatever it might be, 20 a day. Mm. But this is where, you know, I try and do my job correctly and I try and do it legitimately and lawfully, you know, just abiding by the GDPR and PECA uh, regulations. What's PECA? Um, Pekka, oh God, I can't, you've caught me on the spot there. You have Jonathan, you <laughs> in, naughty boy. In, in, general, <laughs> in general terms rather than specifically. So it's all to do with email marketing, um, right. SMS messaging. Um, but what I don't do is bulk email, bulk SMS messaging. It's all, um, we will have set email templates that I would write out. Mm -hmm. Um, to make them catchy and engaging with the audience, whoever that might be, but I'll always alter them slightly depending on the conversation um, or perhaps non-contact with that um, prospect. It's interesting actually because um, we, you and I were talking about being of a certain age and I think we're all of a certain age now where as you say, it doesn't take that long and then if we're really busy but it doesn't take that long to make it a learning experience for someone and to point out to them look mate you've not done this or this this would really help you going forward the trouble i found though is that no one listens to what they're told to do mm -hmm. <laughs> so how how can we achieve any benefit for these people gregory that's a really good question. I don't know that I have the best answer because I think there, I would say there's maybe, you know, one to 5% of, of people who are sending out maybe a, a spam message on LinkedIn that you say, you give them, you know, some courtesy and uh, direct feedback on, hey, this is, this is a better approach. Have you considered doing it this way? Because based on your message, I just want to block you. And that's what you're, you know, that's the kind of response you're getting. I don't think that's what you're aiming for. And, and, and so some people may, may listen and may, you know, do it on that approach. Um, and, and those, those messages, yes, they're, they're annoying. They, they bug me. Um, the ones that really get under my skin that do make me angry are the scammers. Mm -hmm. And so I have gotten, somehow my number's gotten out there, my personal cell number, and I'll get texts now. Oh unsolicited texts, or I'll get scam calls with a spoof of another number. Mm. And so they're trying to get information or sell me something that I don't want to need. I'll call back and it's some random person's cell phone number in my area. Really? This happens all the time. And I'll be like, didn't she's, I didn't call you. Did you, I, well, I got this call and they were trying to sell this and they're spoofing your number, by the way. And that's even happened to me where someone's called me and said, Hey, you just called me. And I said, actually somebody's, using my number um, illegally to try and sell you something. Madness. Has um, that ever happened to you? Oh, yeah. No, not at all. Um, no, thank God. Um,